Hello, this is part of our Understanding Ourselves Better series. Today we're going to look at an introduction to the RAS, which is our reticular activating system. The reticular activating system is located in our brain at the top of a brainstem. And the interesting thing is that it's actually working as a filter in the way we think. First of all, our brains are pretty amazing. They're our very own supercomputers. To keep us safe, they send signals to us all the time. Eat when we're hungry or pay attention to our body when we're experiencing pain. And that's not including all the other amazing things our brains do for us. Now, we have three levels of consciousness. We have our conscious mind, which is focused on the now. For example, a fancy cup of tea. The pre-conscious mind, which is a store of information we don't concentrate on all the time, but it's there if we need it. For example, we know of tea and milk and where the kettle and cups are to make the tea. There's also our unconscious mind, which can influence our behaviour, but we might not always be aware of it. So perhaps once we were scalded with hot water and find for some reason whenever we're boiling kettle to make tea, we feel uneasy but don't know why, so are extra cautious. We are bombarded with information from so many sources all the time. If we were to focus on all of it, we would feel overwhelmed and not able to concentrate really on anything. To save us feeling overloaded, our brain filters what we need to focus on. This is part of the role of the reticular activating system. Our RAS wants to keep us safe, so we'll filter for threats. And with all that's happening in the world, it'll find them easily. However, we do have some control over what we choose to focus on. And what we focus on, we find more of. Of course, it matters we need to recognise risk to our safety and those we care about, including the planet. However, what matters next is we find the energy to do something about that and not find we become so anxious about the what-ifs that we find it hard to do anything at all, or worse, don't see any point in doing anything. A challenge when we lock into threats or things which will go wrong is we miss opportunities, as our RAS isn't programmed to look for opportunities or solutions, but is in fact focused so much on threats or challenges or a sense of inevitable failure that it sees little else. Is it surprising then that all we see are threats or defeat before we start? if that is what we have programmed our brain to look for. What we are saying to ourselves matters. We all have an inner voice and it chatters away all the time. Sometimes we might not be paying it much attention, but we're listening to it all the same. Remember our three levels of consciousness. Becoming aware of our inner voice and the story we're telling ourselves about our lives, hopes, dreams, fears, matters. Our inner voice is different from what we hear others say to us and yes sadly sometimes the words of others do wound us which is why it's even more important we speak kindly to ourselves as we would to someone we love. It's really important to recognise an optimistic or cheerful attitude doesn't mean we aren't challenged at times. It doesn't mean we don't see the problems. It's more we recognise we only have so much energy, so invest that where we can overcome the challenge or adapt to it so we suffer less. Rather than use the energy we have focusing on how awful the challenge is and feeling powerless that anything will make a difference, if we can learn to adopt a more optimistic and cheerful approach to life, including in adversity, that helps our RAS look for solutions to ease the suffering the current situation is causing. We can teach our RAS to look for opportunities instead of threats, but it takes time. If for years we've focused on it's bad and it's going to get worse, then a few minutes, hours, days of more positive self-talk will not make a heap of difference. We need to create new routines for ourselves which become our new unconscious habits. This takes time and perseverance. Often, even when we see a change, 
and a change for the better, that process of transition can be uncomfortable. So it matters that we're kind to ourselves as we go through these changes. Please remember, this isn't about blame or it's our fault. Sometimes there's experience in our life which naturally make us see the world as a threatening place. Perhaps we've been hurt or our trust abused and it's not easy to let our guard down and hope. The more we perform the same routine, the more it becomes an unconscious habit. Remember, three levels of consciousness. If we've got into the routine of focusing on what is wrong, what else can go wrong, how awful that will be and how worried we are about whether we can cope with it, then we are programming our RAS to find evidence of these very things. Guess what? Yeah, it'll find it. We then wonder why sometimes we try to make a positive change and it doesn't go to plan because unconsciously we never believed it would in the first place. There is a workbook available on the Cope Scotland website. If you have found this interesting and want to learn more about how you can program your RAS. These tips do not replace professional advice. Sometimes there are things going on in our minds which we need help to work through. We all need help sometimes. So please, if you find you're struggling with thoughts and feelings which are overwhelming you, speak to someone. There can also be other health conditions which may have an impact on our thinking. So please remember, these tips are general reflection points. Speak to your healthcare professional if you're unsure if they're most useful for you. Remember, you're worth it. Thanks for listening.